everyone. Thanks for watching my channel. This is Tony from She Camps, just showing you a little bit of our adventure off to the Overland Expo. This was held in Flagstaff, Arizona, late May. That was May 20th through the 23rd. I have linked some of the products we did see along the way. So if anything comes of interest, just go ahead and follow that link for more information. It was super windy. Um, we did get a little bit of damage to some of our stuff, but it's all right. We can get those things replaced. So here we have one of the YouTube influencers, Marco. This is from Overland X. Um, he's got great ideas on cooking. And he also shows his experience doing off-road and making alterations to vehicles. It's really cool right there. This is Hiker Trailer, very similar to ours. Ours is a tiny camper, but this is Hiker Trailer, very easy to go off-road with. And this one was really cool. Super lifted Bilstein. Um, it shows you in this picture like how it's lifted and all that suspension. Really cool. Perfect for going off-road. This one was a little patio up top with hammocks and umbrellas. Awesome. So as you can see, there's a lot of different variations of overland camping equipment you can get. Just depends on your vehicle and the types of things you'd like to do. This right here is going to be my next purchase. This is a table that goes over your tire and harnesses to the base of the tire. It comes in stainless steel or aluminum. Very, very sturdy and portable. Easy collapses and makes it really great. This is another easy tent I really liked. It only weighs 28 pounds and sleeps four people. More scenes from the expo. This is the walkway we took back to camp. And there's our setup. Pretty much every day, we walked about six miles. Here's Midland. This is communications between you and the other vehicles you're camping with. There's Tempo Tusk. We have the Scottle from them right there. They cooked on that every day. Show you the ease of cooking and cleaning up. This is one of the interior shots from all the vendors. I really like this chair right here. It's the Wanderer. It's really easy to set up. It is a cart initially, then it goes to a recliner or bed, campfire chair or beach chair. And it hauls all your equipment, easy to assemble. It is a little pricey and could be one of those things that you pass on to future generations. More information, go to the website to check it out. See all those options right there? Nice, and there's a cart loaded up with the net around it. Makes it easy to carry all those items. This is the Overland Expo truck trailer. This had all the options for purchases you wanted to make that showed Overland Expo. Contest going on right here. Delicious food being made, yum. Again, more wind, more awesome overland gear and equipment.
really hard to calculate. The ambient temperature, your elevation, all of that counts. That's why no fire pit people tell you how much it burns. So that's but, uh, about it. You can figure that. Yeah, it's about that. So like a 10 pounder is great for two drunken nights, like five night hours a night, and then plus uh, cooking for the family for a weekend. Ours yeah. is only five, but it's because we only do like 90 minutes, and the kids, you know, they're asleep. Like, they're getting ready for bed anyway. So. So what this is, is an ammo box with a propane fitting. It's no smoke, no embers, and passes fire restrictions when campfires are restricted. Only weighs 10 pounds. So right here, antelope tamales, and the presentation was pretty good. I was impressed. So we've upgraded a bit. Now we have solar panels. There's our cord, and it'll lead all the way over here to our little power source. Here you see we are getting battery power. You know what? This really worked last night. It was so cold and we didn't we couldn't do a campfire, so this little heater kept us warm outside of the trailer. And we have our water heater to wash dishes. Of course, here we are representing Temecula with our Temecula wine. My eco-friendly soap. There you go. And my delicious soft log. There's my clean little kitchen area. We got a turtle back bag where our trash is supposed to go. We have to figure out what we're going to do with that because it really doesn't work at the back of that tailgate for throwing away kitchen trash. <laughs> Scottle. Lantern. Little camp chairs. Table. This little table right here is the best. Got to get one. Okay, so in this scene, you're going to see Jordan from the Lost Sasquatch doing a forging demonstration with YouTuber Trail Recon. All right, so we're back at Overland X with Marco. This is his vendor site. He also participates in milestartires.com. Check it out. Okay, so we did purchase the Tembo Tusk Fire Pit. It comes flat and disassembles flat as well. It creates that little V-ditch with the propane um, attachment inside. We hooked it up to our propane tank. You can't use a one pounder on it, but you can use a five, 10 or 20 pounder. The circumference of heat is about three to six feet. It's pretty awesome. This is our new friends, Rich and Sylvia from Arizona. We had a great time with them. All right, guys, this is it for us. You have a great day and we'll see you again. Thanks for watching She Camps. Bye.